Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial we are going to be creating a very simple ribbon brush in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to be creating this from scratch. If you're new to Adobe Illustrator and still getting a handle on things, this will be the perfect tutorial for you to get a little more familiar with some of the tools. So I'm going to create a new document. You can see right here these are the different brushes and I can even draw out some other shapes here and kind of show you how these ribbons work. So we're going to create the ribbons originally. Let me change this to a stroke right here. So we're going to create a ribbon and then we're going to convert it into a brush so then we can apply the brush to any path that we'd like. So you can see it's pretty cool. It's really flexible. Um, I can even kind of come around here like this and do a ribbon. So these are really fun to make and you can see you get some ribbons really quickly so really simple but nice and fast so i'm going to create a new document by going file new i'm just going to create a standard eight and a half by eleven landscape orientation no bleed i'm going to change my color mode to cmyk and i'm going to hit create and the first thing we need to do is create our ribbon um, so then we can create a brush out of that ribbon so i have my own little trick on how to make ribbons so i'm going to share that with you but first i'm going to change this over here i'm going to get rid of my stroke so i just have a fill color which is this color in the forefront and you can see over here in my color palette and if you don't have your color palette you can get to a big going window color and it'll pop open and over here I'm just gonna put in 60 and 30 right here and now I've kind of got this pink color then I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard and this activates my rectangle tool you can also get to your rectangle tool by coming over here in your toolbox and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle just freehanding it just like that and then where the center node is I'm going to hover over it and then I'm going to hit the plus key on my keyboard or the equals key and just click once in that spot without moving my mouse then I'm going to come over here and if you have your smart guides turned on you can kind of see it's giving me a pink line right here but you can also just hit V on your keyboard so it reselects your rectangle, hover over the other center node, hit the plus key on your keyboard, click once, and now you've added another point right here. And now all you have to do is hit A on your keyboard with this point selected, and then just hit your arrow key over and remember how many times you hit it. So I'm gonna hit it about 10 times. And then I can do the exact same thing over here 10 times. And there we go. Now we've got a ribbon that's perfectly symmetrical on both sides and it's super fast to make. So we've got our first ribbon and then we're going to create two other ribbons so we can have kind of different styles with our brush. So I'm going to hold alt, click and as I'm dragging I'm going to hold shift and that'll keep it perfectly straight. And the next thing I'm going to do is hit my forward slash key on my keyboard and I'm just going to click up here and as I'm dragging I'm going to hold shift and that'll keep it a straight line and then I'm going to apply a white stroke on it. So if I come up here to my color palette I'm going to hit this stroke color area and then I'm just going to hit the white color right here and that will fill it in and now I can hit V and click anywhere to deselect it and now I want the same one down here as well so I'm going to click it hold alt click and drag and while I'm dragging I'm going to hold shift to keep it straight and now I've got another one right there so I'm going to click on this hold shift and click on this so they're both selected and I'm going to change the ends because they're pretty sharp on the end you can see it's just a straight cut right there and I want them to be more rounded so they're a little softer so I can change that by coming over to my stroke palette over here you can get to this by going window stroke and it'll pop open and all I'm going to do is click right here for a rounded cap and a rounded corner and now you can see these are rounded right there the next thing I need to do is convert these into a shape so they're not a stroked path. So in order to do that, all we have to do is with those two selected, come up here and go object, expand, hit OK, and now they are a shape. So we're all set right there. So the last thing we're going to do is add a little depth to our ribbon. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to group them together so they stay together. So I'm going to hit Command-G or Control-G on a PC to group them. And then I'm going to hold Alt, click, drag. While I'm dragging, I'm going to hold Shift so it keeps it nice and straight. And now the next thing I need to do is select my entire ribbon, hold Alt, click, drag, and Hold shift as you're dragging to keep it straight. And I'm just going to drag just a little bit. And this time I'm going to change the entire color of this. I'm just going to change it 
to black. So make sure your fill is selected where the question mark is right now. That's just saying that we've got two different colors right here, the white and the pink. And we're going to change everything to black. And we're going to change the transparency to 50%. Okay, so we can see through it a little bit. So now what we wanna do is we wanna draw a line right here to right here and right here all the way to the end over here and then from here to here. So we're just using this as a guide. We're gonna delete this later on. This is just meant to help us out with drawing these lines. So I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard for the pen tool. I'm gonna to click right here and then I'm gonna click right here and then I'm gonna color the stroke. So I don't wanna fill of black, so I'm gonna hit none right here. I'm gonna select my stroke. I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard, hold shift, and then click on the pink area and that will change it to pink. And since this is gonna behave like a shadow, we want it to be darker than our pink. So I'm just gonna change the K value, which stands for black, up to 50%. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit V, click anywhere, and now it's deselected. Now I can hit P again for my pen tool, click right here on this end, and we're gonna drag all the way to the other end and then click once, hit V, click anywhere, and that will deselect it. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side right here. So P, click, come down here, click, hit V, click anywhere, and now it's deselected. Now we can select this black piece right here that we used as a guide and we can just get rid of it. So now you can see we've got these little shadow pieces. This one feels a little too low to me, so I'm just gonna select it and nudge it up a couple of clicks. Okay, so that's looking good. So we're all set with that, but the same thing we did with these other strokes, we converted them to shapes. We're gonna do the exact same thing again right here. So I'm gonna click on this stroke. I'm gonna hold shift, click on this stroke. With shift still held, I'm gonna click on my last stroke so all of them are selected. And then I'm gonna go object, expand, and hit okay. And now these are all converted into shapes so I can select everything and group them together. Command G or Control G on a PC. Now I've got my three pieces. Now we can convert these into brushes. So I'm gonna create a regular ribbon brush first. So I'm gonna select this ribbon. You have to have whatever shape you'd like to convert into a brush selected before you can create that brush. So click on your first ribbon, come over here to your brushes palette. You can get to this by going window brushes. We have some default brushes in here right now, but we don't need to worry about that yet. So we're gonna click on this little icon down here for a new brush. And when you do that, this menu will pop open and you're gonna choose Art Brush and then hit OK. So these are your settings that you can adjust for your Art Brush. You can also name it, like I can call this Plain Ribbon. And we wanna have Stretch to Fit Stroke Length because we want our ribbon to be able to stretch out the length that we need it to as we're applying it. So Stretch to Fit Stroke Length. And I like having my direction go from left to right because that's typically how I draw, so that is perfectly fine. And then I'm going to choose the overlap right here. I'm gonna make sure that this little icon is selected instead of this one. That way, if it happens to overlap on top of itself, you won't get any weird white areas. It's just gonna be plain color if it overlaps at any time. So we're all set right here, so I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this brush. So I'm gonna create a new brush. Art brush, okay. Um, I'm gonna do pink and white. Make sure my overlap is right here. Hit okay. And then this one's gonna be the ribbon with the shadow. So same thing again. Ribbon with shadow. And hit okay. All right, so we've got all of our brushes right here. So now we can start using them. So I'm just gonna draw, let me move these out of the way. I'm gonna draw just a plain path. I have noticed that it works far better if you use your pen tool instead of your pencil tool when you're drawing a path. The pencil tool makes the ribbon seem much more distorted than using the pen tool, so I would recommend using the pen tool for this particular method. So I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard, and all I'm gonna do is click once, drag it wherever you'd like, click and drag up, and then I'm gonna hold Alt and bring in this handle a little bit and then just click and drag again. So we've got this nice little hill. And then I'm just gonna hit V when I'm all set. I'm gonna change this from a fill to a stroke. And now I just need to apply my ribbon. So I can click on this ribbon and see what that ribbon looks like. I can click on this ribbon 
and I can click on this ribbon, you can see they're all working exactly how we would intend them to work. So the other thing you can do when your ribbon is still selected, if you want to change the size of it, all you have to do is revisit your stroke palette right here. You can get to that by going window stroke. And if I want to reduce the size of it, I can do like half a point instead of a full point. So 0.5 and hit enter and you can see it gets much skinnier when you do that so you can kind of adjust all of that if you want to change this at all later on and you don't need it to be a brush anymore you can expand it like we did with our other strokes where you can go object expand appearance and now this is just its own shape so i can even change the color of the ribbon if i hit a on my keyboard and select the ribbon I can come over here and change it to any color that I'd like. If I want a purple ribbon, I can do that. So pretty cool and very flexible and very, very easy to begin applying different ribbons to your designs. So the last thing we want to do is if we have these ribbons and we're really happy with how our brushes are working and we want to use them in the future, we don't want to just use them for this one document that we created them for, you can save your brushes for later use. All you have to do is come over here to the brushes palette. Let's get rid of these other ones that we don't like right here. You can just select them and then hit the trash can and then they'll go away. So now that we have our brand new ribbons just on their own, the basics are always going to be there so don't worry about that one. Um, all you have to do is toggle this little icon down and choose save brush library. So then you'll save your brushes anywhere on your computer that you'd like and then when you're in a new document in the future all you have to do is come over here to open brush library, other library, and then select that library that you saved out and then it'll load right in and you'll have your brushes immediately. I have an entire tutorial on how to do that if you want the step by steps. So I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description for that. So that concludes this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my blog every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.